Hi, in this video you will learn how to create a TikTok filter such as the randomizer, the tournament bracket, or the blind rank. I will not invent the wheel here. Someone has already done it for us and they have shared the template for us. And all you need to do is just update the pictures. Now, there are four major steps that you need to understand while creating the TikTok filter. First, you need to get, get the effect house. You can download it on this URL right here. and it is available for iOS and Windows. Second, what you need to do is you need to join their Discord. So just go to learn learning resources. There's amazing resources here, but on Discord you will be able to get the templates that other people have provided for us. Other amazing people, such as this person right here. And Next, what you need to do is you need to find a place where you can Photoshop your pictures. Now, I use Photopea because it is free and I am broke. Next, I do not see a lot of people talking about this one, but you need to compress your image. If you want to make a randomized filter with multiple pictures, you need to compress the images because the TikTok filter only allows it for five five megabyte I think so you need to comp compress them so let's get started first I will just go on the discord select for example the blind rank this one right here I'll download it now we'll open the project and I do not have the latest version I think but it should work so as you can see here, this amazing person has already created a template for us. Now, what you can on this template, you can change the color of these, everything that you see here. So for example, the background, the image, and then the number, you can make it a different color. As you can see here, it is available for us. So if I want to make it orange, I can do that. Just make sure that you copy it so everything is the same so if you go on all of them you can create make them the same color just like that and let's i'll show you for example in photopia what you need to do is new projects and if you want to have make sure all of the pictures that you're selecting are going to be the same width and height and you can select the background to be transparent white or black whatever you desire and all of the pictures that you have available you could just do open and place this one so as you can see here all of them are here okay so for example this one you could just make it bigger as much as you want it and just fix it up And if you want to be an amazing person, you could add a text and you should include the title of whatever it is that you want to show. So, and you could just fix it just like that and all you need to do is download it export as png so whatever you export the first one all of them have to be the same so if you export this one as png you will just save it and that's pretty much it now you just have to do it the same to all of them just like that and everything will stay the same and you will have a consistency in all of the pictures that you will make available now for the image compressor as I mentioned if you're gonna use more than 10 or 20 you need to have for example here as you could see there's only five 
megabytes available, so you need to compress your images. And here, all you need to do is click on images, update them. So for example, this person, these are the images that he has, but you're going to use something new. And the way you do that is import texture sequence. Now, whenever you're going to upload at, in the texture sequence, you need to upload them in the same folder. So they need to be in the same folder so you can select them and then just click open. So as you can see here, the texture image is here, is this one right here, and you will see it. This one, and you can see it right here. And now all you need to do is just change the texture. So here we have texture images, and you need to do AP again. Another way you can do it, you could just delete this one, but I don't recommend it. But you could delete it, and then you will see what's missing. So for example, this one is missing, so all we do is update the correct texture sequence. And as you can see here, now you are all set. This was pretty much it. As you can see here, if you press now the image stuff if you select it now another thing you can do is if you open the main graph i think you can change the number so the timer for example this timer right here so this timer right here the second it takes for it to shuffle you can change it, for example, to 1. And just let's update it here. As you can see, it's shorter. It takes shorter amount. That's something you could change. Other than... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. All you need to do then is just submit it. And when you submit it, as you can see here, like the images that I used were not. You can submit it as a new effect or update an existing effect. Now, now for the tournament bracket, this is a little bit different because. Now the template that does have a little glitch, which is the images are flipped. What we need to do is flip. Yeah. So you just need to do that one thing. Now, here you can also change the bracket color and the, for example, right here, the color you can change it to, for example, let's make it up white or something. And the background you can also make it to something, whatever you desire. And the texture here, as you can see, they're actual images that you will import. So all of the images you will get they have to be added one by one. The way you do that is just simply, instead of going to texture sequence, you just choose from computer. The way I did it before, I just select the right side or like left side. So if I select these, you would need to add them here. So as you can see, one by one. So one side has some of them, and then the other one has the rest. 
So if you want to add more, for example, set 16, 32, or 48. But just remember that it starts from zero, so the images need to be, I think, just count correctly. And when you change the numbers here, for example, you will make it up to 32. You also, I believe, change this here because if you don't then it will only take up to 60 so you also need to update this one and it should work now for the randomizer that's pretty much very easy template and scroll all the way down you will be able to find the randomizer now this one is the same as the the sequence so all we need to do is just update the sequence here and you will get it and also you need to change the title head so when you create for example here you also need to create a title and update it for example here you will update the texture which is the image I mean yeah image texture so you need to update it here and the random you need to have to update. And that's pretty much it. Now, for for example, this one, I've never done this before, but Murder Mystery, so he, the template is this one. Oh. So all we need to do is just update the pictures. Mm -hmm. So the way that this person has done it, he has the same animation for all of them, which... I don't know if you want to do it like that. Like I would just select other animations, but just make sure that the image compressor works. So if you want to do it with different ones, you just need to update the texture. So all you need to do is just change the texture here. And you will be all set.